Welcome to Table Talks this morning. I'm Pastor John Starwald at Faith Lutheran Church in Clay, Alabama. It's great being with you this morning, everyone at Faith. It's always good to be with you, and I'm glad and well and th and thankful for your many comments about how helpful these times have been for you to be able to come on any time of the day, including 10 o'clock, the, the regular weekday morning time for these broadcasts, but, uh, but also thankful for your comments saying that you like watching these broadcasts later in the day when you get back at work. But I'm thankful for your comments and I'm grateful that these small talks have been helpful uh, between you and me so we can continue in our venture as God's children and, and give thanks for God's grace here at Faith Lutheran Church. And if you are just now watching this broadcast, if you're a guest with us, we're so glad that you're with us and invite you to like these broadcasts and you'll get notifications of forthcoming broadcasts. I mean, we welcome you to that. Table Talks is broadcast typically every weekday morning at 10 o'clock unless some pastoral matter pulls me away and then it'll always be broadcast a little later in the day, but 10 o'clock a.m. Central Time is the typical time for these broadcasts. Um, also, we invite you to worship with us on Sunday morning at 9.30. We will be worshiping in the sanctuary for the first time in person in so many months, and so we're grateful that, for that. I'm very grateful for the leadership of the congregation as we've continued to make these decisions. Just a note for you, if you are with us as a member of faith or if you are coming to be with us as a guest for worship Sunday morning uh, at 9.30, as you enter the sanctuary, you will see that there is a station set up for your offering, for you to pick up a, a hard copy bulletin. Uh, and, and by the way, all of the services will continue to be streamed on Facebook uh, at our handle, Faith Lutheran Clay, so that you may, um, those of you who are unable to be with us, uh, can worship with us online. Back to that station at the entrance of the sanctuary. You can leave your offering there. You can pick up a bulletin there. Um, you can, can also uh, pick up there a communion kit. So please, please bring a, pick a communion kit up for worship. At faith, we believe that Jesus Christ is present in, with, and under the sacraments, that this is a free gift for all the baptized, that forgiveness comes through the sacrament. We do not have an age limit for receiving the sacrament of forgiveness. So you can leave your offering, pick up a bulletin, pick up a communion kit, and then we're socially distancing and come and be with us and worship with us. We're, we're really excited about that. Uh, just another couple of announcements before we enter into Matins and read scripture this morning. To begin with, uh, this fall, during the adult Sunday school time, during the adult learning time, we'll be walking through Martin Marty's book, Lutheran Questions, Lutheran Answers. Now you can purchase Martin Marty's book, Lutheran Questions, Lutheran Answers at Augsburg Fortress Bookstore online. Uh, we'll be going through several questions that are very interesting and, and sometimes flummoxing for people. And, and this will be a great chance for us to meet in the sanctuary, all adults, uh, PowerPoints up, and a presentation of different questions every Sunday. That will begin with Sunday School. Pardon me. Sorry about that. That will begin with Sunday school, um, and it will continue on for several weeks. So again, Lutheran questions, Lutheran answers. We we invite you to that. Also, just a sharing that we are going to be offering a pub theology, a, a faith on tap group that's going to begin meeting also in the fall. We're going to meet at a local brewing company, enjoy a glass of wine or a, or a glass of ale and then discuss the questions of life and faith and scripture. So we are looking forward to that too. You'll find out more about our Faith on Tap group that's going to begin meeting. This is for men and women to come together in a local brewing company and discuss faith and all issues regarding life uh, and scripture. So looking forward to that as well. Um, this morning, I also want to announce that in the next few weeks during our table talk time, we'll be discussing some of the questions that's going to be called, I'm going to be calling these sessions beginning this coming Monday, um, Lutheran Questions Time. And we'll be able to discuss questions such as, um, why do Lutherans have so many confessions of faith? 
What is the purpose of the Bible? Uh, here's another question. Since we have the New Testament, why do we need the Old Testament? Or yet another question, why do Luther, how do Lutherans interpret Scripture? How can we know God? Or even simple questions like, why do we baptize infants? So, beginning next Monday, every table talk at 10 a.m. in the morning will include one question and a comment about that question. Now, these will not be in-depth theological exercises. These will not be in-depth theological lessons. We'll just spend about five minutes with each one. I hope that this is enlightening for you and helpful for you as well. Um, well, why don't we begin? Let's begin with uh, Matins this morning, and you can follow along if you have... Uh, your hymnal at home, or just follow along with me. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, God our light and our life. O come, let us worship God, our Creator. I'm going to read from the 130th Psalm, which is a part of the lessons assigned through the Revised Common Lectionary, a three-year cycle of readings. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love. With him there is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Let us pray. Almighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. And we ask for the communion of faith in your church to be preserved, and we give thanks for the new creation in Christ. Dear God, we ask that you also be with those who govern, those who are in countries that are ravaged by warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony. Dear God, at this time also we ask that you be with all frontline workers who are striving to battle against COVID and its new variants, including Delta and Delta Plus. We ask that you especially be with those who suffer illness and ask that those who have lost loved ones to COVID be comforted. Dear God, we also pray that you hear the, the prayers that we offer individually. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. It's great to see you again. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.